Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellas1Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, looks like they uh, moved Triple G's date to November 21st. So let's talk about that. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. He will be going up against uh, Errol Spence and Danny Garcia. And um, that's interesting for the zone. And what's so crazy about it is I can understand if, you know, November was a month where, you know, they're packing all these fights because now they can have fans in the stands. I totally understand it. But once again, the zone continues and the top rank continues and PBC continues to stack cards on the same day. You got a pay-per-view on Danny and Earl. All right. Triple G was supposed to fight November 7th. Now, I don't know what happened. Maybe venue changed or some changed. But now, you're going to move his fight to the 21st. Now, the 7th is Danny, Devin Haney and Gamboa. The 14th is going to be Luke Campbell and Ryan Garcia. Right. right? Right? Then you go down to the 21st. You got Triple G and Earl Spence stockpiling on that date. Then you go to the 28th. Then you got Earl, Earl I mean, excuse me, you got Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. So, like I said before, I can see. If all these brothers, you know, basically wanted a, a gate and there was a gate that was going to be allowed in November. But I, from my understanding, the gate probably won't be allowed, allowed till December at the earliest. So to me, it makes it makes no sense to have the boxing fans continue to pick and choose. Now, obviously, we know what's the better fight. Even for 70 bucks, Danny Garcia taking on Earl Spence is perhaps the better fight. People going to stream that. People been done with Triple G. The gig is up. All right. People already seen what he about. He, he is a guy that cherry picks his fights. He's been a fraud. We've been talking about it. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about his resume at the end. And you, he sits here and he turns down the Canelo trilogy in September. Don't forget that. To fight Camille Zamata. Now, don't forget, he got kicked out of snack. And he has suffered a calf strain. So, you know, at the end of the day, people want to sit here and sell Triple G. I mean, it's like it's not even like they going against each other. Cause that's like putting a that's like putting a rabbit in a cage with a pit bull. You know what's gonna happen. The rabbit's gonna be meat. He gonna be a, a appetizer. You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand why the zone is even back in this fight. They want to tell Canelo, well, you gotta take a pay cut for fighting, you know, for fighting, uh, you know, Billy Joe Saunders or Calvin Smith or whoever you want to fight. You gotta take a pay cut, or you can't go over to PBC, or we ain't we ain't gonna let you put the Uterman fight on the zone, or let you go to PBC and fight Uterman. But then again, you let Triple G turn down the Canelo trilogy and then turn around and fight Camille Zamata. Don't forget the IBF did not order Camille Zamata as an opponent. You know what I mean? Remember, Triple G asked for that mandatory. And now we're in a situation where there's own battling Canelo. But then again, is there any reports that Triple G had to take a, a, a discount? That he had to take a pay cut to fight Camille Zamata? And that's that bull job that Canelo talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, they going head up against each other is is not is nobody gonna watch the, the zone. Some hardcore Triple G fan that still believe the fraud. Oh, he got robbed by Canelo twice, and he's gonna be Canelo the next time. Those little small people, percentage of people, are gonna continue to support his bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I hope it's one of the lowest rated fights out there. If fans uh, prefer to stream a pay-per-view fight, you know, or pay for a pay-per-view with Earl Spence and Danny Garcia instead of pay $20 to white Triple G, I think the people have spoken. Now, I get what they're doing. They're putting Devin Haney, Triple G, Luke Campbell all in one month so the fans to come back and spend their $20. To be honest, it's only one interesting fight out of that. And the one interesting fight is Luke Campbell versus Ryan Garcia. Nobody want to see Devin and Gamboa. Nobody want to see Triple G and Camille Zamata. You know what I'm saying? The two best fights that month is probably Errol Spence and Danny Garcia that's being made right now. Mike Tyson and Roy Jones in a lot of people's opinion because Casual's going to watch it and Luke and Ryan Garcia. So, like I said before, ain't nobody, ain't nobody checking in for Triple G bullshit no more. They wasted $14 million per fight on a guy that wasn't even worth it. People talking about paying, overpaying Canelo. They overpaid Triple G to come over there 
and not fight nobody but Steve Rose and Camille Zamata. And then he had a tough fight with Derbachenko, which he didn't want to fight for that, that belt. People forget that. He didn't want to fight for that belt. The zone forced him to fight for that belt when Canelo dropped the belt because they didn't want to lose the belt to the other side of the street. You know? So, you know, moving forward, they going up. I don't know if they're going to put the Errol Spence fight on the screen <laughs> in the arena. I don't know if they're going to put it on the screen like they did for the UFC fight, Jorge Mastodov and Nate, uh, Nate Diaz for the Canelo and Kovalev fight. Or they going to, you know, it depends. I don't know exactly. I think they happen in L.A., Danny and uh, Danny and Earl. So if it happened in L.A., maybe Triple, I think Triple G probably be fighting on the West Coast too. So are they going to wait till Danny Garcia and Earl Spence over again? Or, you know, they going to just do their thing? I don't think nobody going to watch regardless before or after. You know, are they going to stagger the times with Triple G and Kim Mills and Matter? They had an earlier start time, so the fight fans can watch that. And then they can go over and watch Danny Garcia. And then it ain't going to be nobody interested in the Triple G undercard. At least we probably going to get Maurice Hooker and Josito Lopez on that Daryl, uh, Danny and Earl undercard. It's just that Earl Spence just got more, he got more, you know, appeal than Triple G ever had in his career right now. Triple G, 37 years old. Errol Spence just got more, you know, it's more intrigued there. How you going to look coming off the car accident, you know? How you going to look versus a big puncher like Danny Garcia? It might be the biggest puncher that he that he fought. You know what I'm saying? And Fox is more of a household brand than the zone. So, you know, Triple G ain't got a chance. The zone probably going to continue to see lows in viewership and lows in subscription. I don't think they're going to come back from this during one of the more popular seasons around America fall. This is where, you know, people, you know, 21st, I think that's, that's right before Thanksgiving, right before, uh, um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you know, people around that time, they like going, now when, if the movie theaters open back up, depending on where you at, people like going to see movies, the pumpkin patch, you know, people like to, you know, you know, do other things, so, you know, they, I never understood why boxers, boxing jam-packed November and October and December, you got football, you got college football kicking off, like, people got other things to do, shopping, and, you know, mostly people out and about before it get cold, really on those east coast uh east coast states and midwest states so you know like i said before man bad decision um nobody checking for the fight i'm not checking for the fight and um i think earl smith and danny garcia are gonna do better viewerships even with 60 dollars more on the price tag and even though you get one fight for that 80 dollars and you get several fights for that 20 dollars i don't think there's any big commercial appeal to any of your fights they putting on in december for the zone so you know, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. You're going to be uh, watching both or, you know, you just prefer to watch the Earl fight. Uh, let me know. But then again, Dan Rayfield out here saying Triple G is a Hall of Famer. Show me where Triple G a Hall of Famer at. And I don't count those fake WBA title defenses that he had. Those was fake. He didn't hold a real title. You know, his best win was Danny Jacobs, and that was that was controversy. Danny Jacobs had not had, hadn't held a real world title at the time. He draw with Can he drew with Canelo once. He got lost to Canelo. He really got he really robbed Dervinchenko in a lot of people's opinion. So then again, what what is his best win? Prosca, Rosado, Adamas, David Lemieux. I mean Lemieux ain't shit. None of them other guys are real, you know, names. He stayed at 160. He didn't move up. You know what I'm saying? He got a, he won a title versus Michael Antonio Rubio that Canelo dropped. So a unified titles finally. So he really ain't never had no shining moment. Like his career is pedestrian. He don't have, I mean, when he stepped up in opposition, he stopped getting knockouts, and that happens. Curtis Stevens, he had a whole bunch of pedestrian wins. He don't have one big win on his resume. He don't have a, a Tommy Hearns on his resume. He don't have a, you know, he don't have a, a Mike McCullum on his resume. He don't have a Terry Norris, at least on his resume. You know what I'm saying? He don't have none of those on his resume. He don't have a Floyd. He don't have, he don't have no big names on his resume. So how is he a Hall of Famer? He ain't Hall of Fame worthy. Dan Rayfield smoking dick. When he said that, no way. You know, you can say, oh, yeah, just no. The title fences are not real. That's a fake title. The same title that Ugas held, that's what he holding. So he is not a Hall of Famer, nowhere near a Hall of Famer. He's 37 years old, don't have a career-defining victory, and don't give me that bullshit about, oh, he robbed Canelo. He, no, I don't care. You know, did he beat um, Danny Jacobs? Yeah, but he didn't really beat Danny Jacobs. I was there that night. Danny Jake, he got a gift. He got a gift versus Dervichenko. So where is it? When when he beat uh, uh, Kasim Uma, you know, get out of here. He ain't moved up. He ain't want to fight War. He ain't want to fight Crotch. Crotch. He ain't want to fight none of those dudes. So Triple G is no way, no how a Hall of Famer. International Boxing Hall of Fame. Kazakhstan Boxing Hall of Fame. Europe Hall of Fame. Asia Hall of Fame. Nowhere. Master Square Garden Hall of Fame. 
He is not a Hall of Famer, and people need to cut it out because he is not a Hall of Famer. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, quiet response, your video quest. Keep sharing the videos. Um, one make a donation. Cash app, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description as well. Shout out to uh, Panamanian Killer. Appreciate it. Shout out to Ed, Ed for uh, donating as well, too. Appreciate the love, support. Um, Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow. We gone.